All right, guys, so welcome to another video. And what you see right here are two Mi 11X devices. Now, usually you would see one phone accompanied with a Poco X3 Pro or a K20 Pro. Today, we are doing this because one of the devices is running MIUI 12.5.7 enhanced stable Indian update. And the other one is running Xiaomi.eu MIUI 13.0.2 stable. One is Android 11, one is Android 12. Both of them are identical Indian devices. I have flashed both of them. They have more or less similar amount of apps. Both of them have been recently flashed. So this is not a speed test. This is not a performance comparison of MI 12.5 and 13. That will be coming later. Today we are going to, you know, look at the aesthetic part of it. We'll compare them side by side to see as to what is different and it should help you to decide if you wish to upgrade to MI 13 or not. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 people over there. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, well, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, now, as you can see over here to my left, we have the Indian stable update that is 12.5.7 enhanced edition. To the right, we have Xiaomi.eu running MIUI 13.0.2, right? Now, these are the major version differences over here. But at the same time, you will see that this one comes with a newer logo. It looks a little better. And the whole UI over here, you'll find it a little different because understand this is MIUI 13 Chinese edition. We don't have a global or a stable ROM yet, which will look something like this. So this is China stable that we're talking about. But if we go to all specifications on both the devices, you will see that this is using the Mi Sans font, which is, you know, a little bold, a little different. It looks a little better on the screen. Things are much more readable. Now over here, Octa-Core Max 3.0. 2 gigahertz it does mention over here it has a snapdragon 870 these are very very small and subtle differences but the major differences are as you can see over here to the left we have android 11 and to the right we have android 12 right now the security update on this one is the 1st of december 2021 and on this one as well is the 1st of 20 1st of december 2021 now the important part as far as comparison of side by side of these operating systems is concerned. The moment you go to the home screen, you will see that you have a very, very different look towards the whole UI. The search bar is over here in this one. Now basically what I've done here is I went to the launchers in app settings and cleared the data so that it comes to the stock settings with which the phone would boot after installing the ROM and formatting for the first time when you do so. Over here you get Google Dialer, Google Messages, and you have System Dialer, System Messages, System Launcher. You have System Launcher in this one as well. Now, to the left, you have Google Feed. In this, to the left, you have App Vault, which of course can be changed. Let me just show you real quick. The reason why this matters is because the animations and the speed of opening apps and stuff is what we are looking at. So we are on the home screen. Let's swipe to the left. Now, I don't know if you can notice this on the camera or not, but this, the one with MIUI 13 feels a little more fluid, a little more cohesive. The difference can be visible to the naked eye, not really on the camera because we are recording at 4K 30 and then it is upscaled to 1080p 60 or 4k 60 whatever anyways so the animations here are pretty good if we talk about the control center we've not installed the new ui of the control center on mi 13 yet but the control center has received some overhaul as you can see over here one thing that is added is this has performance mode mi 13 this one doesn't over here at the bottom you do have the media controls in mi 12.5.7 enhanced the media controls are not present now if you look at the top almost everything is pretty similar so no changes made there all right so if you look at the battery percentage now they are exactly the same so in this particular top section there are no changes at all now what really matters over here is the app icon animations at the same time i did say the google search bar is here and over here the google search bar is at the bottom and you will see that you don't have the google assistant shortcuts over here or over here so those were not present anyways now let's open the apps together and see the animation Right. The animations are exactly the same. If you ask me, 
you know i'll be candid over here i will not tell you that oh miui 13 is way better much better and stuff like that the animations are pretty much similar let's see the security application this looks a little dark compared to this one and if you see over here as you can see so there's this option of opening the security apps from here versus in this one you have everything mentioned at the bottom so the security app in this one is updated is what i can say now the main difference here apart from all these ui aesthetic things that we talked about is if you pinch just look at the animation of both the launchers this definitely feels more polished more subtle and more refined as far as i can notice right you have then you know you have everything similar like you can select icons and drag and dra stuff like that now these things have changed over here instead of wallpaper widgets settings three circular icons there is a different look over here the moment you click on this it sort of has no animation this definitely has an animation so that's again you know another change over here if you go to widgets there you go have a look over here the widgets more or less look the same but this is um, you know much more faster in scrolling this is sort of smooth bouncy and slow now that's again animations that we are talking about remember i did say this is not a performance test this is a ui overall test as to what has changed between miui 12 and miui 13 now next up let's talk about system applications and one of the important system applications that we have is the file manager so the app opening animation in file manager is different you look at the ui that is different it feels more material u types now and as you can see you have these shortcuts over here in miui 13 you don't have those in miui 12.5.7 enhanced so the file manager has received quite a overhaul as well now at the same time when you open a particular application and when you go back to the home screen as you can see in the camera application this feels a little more polished on MIA 13 and that's what they have been saying that they will go ahead and you know improve the performance and stuff like that now in the MIA 13 beta in the camera application there was an option called document watermark which will secure your document so that it cannot be misused unfortunately in stable that particular feature has not made its way through so you know it doesn't really really say that that particular feature is added now but in future that feature will be available the camera ui is exactly the same you will not have any changes over here as you can see so some people have been saying that miui 13 is just miui 12.5 plus well i don't really <laughs> go ahead and disagree there but there are things which have changed for example finally the updated reboot menu is present right if you talk about the control center i did say that it looks the same if you talk about the volume panel it looks exactly the same here so let's see here if we have any changes at all right so no changes in the volume panel as well now let's talk about things that are present in settings let's go to settings of both the versions over here okay now one more disclaimer that i did state earlier Please be prepared to see a lot of changes when MIUI 13 comes to the global version because there are changes. A lot of features that are available in the China stable may not make it to the global stable. So about phone, we did check that. System apps updater is missing over here. Security status, as you can see, more or less the same. SIM cards and mobile networks, absolutely everything is the same. And then Wi-Fi, everything is the same. Bluetooth, everything is the same. Connection and sharing uh well i don't see any additional options over here there is miui plus beta over here because this is based on the china rom there is mi share over here so those are subtle changes that you are looking at right now now moving on you have wallpaper and personalization over here and over here you don't you have themes you don't really have you have themes and wallpaper so they have sort of clubbed that so if you go to wallpaper over here you will more or less see that the ui is different in this one it will directly take you to themes and wallpaper also directly takes you to themes yeah so that is a change that you do see over here now under always on display and lock screen you will see that you have use app icons for notifications over here but that particular option is not present in this particular version power menu access is something that you see over here i don't really see that over here now this is really interesting and good because what this does is allow access to power menu while the device is locked if you disable it and when you are on a lock screen if somebody steals your phone and tries to you know 
tries to power it off using the power button, they will not be able to access the power menu until the device is unlocked. For example, in this, I don't know if that setting is available somewhere else in 21.5.7, but as far as I have seen, if you long press over here, as you can see, you can access the power menu. Over here, you do have glance for MI, lock screen, clock format, side panel shortcuts. Let's see here and charging animation. So there are, you know, as I said, a lot of things in the China stable or China beta, which are additional and which you'll probably not see in the global stable, but it's really interesting to compare both the, you know, UI side by side. Now we did not speak about the launcher in detail. So let's go ahead and discuss the launcher as well. Home screen with app drawer, system navigation, gestures, everything is the same. Now there is one feature that is added over here, which says don't show text or double tap to lock screen. Now what this does is basically, let me show you side by side. Okay. Now you have icon labels over here. They have gone missing. This is more like a me pad UI. Uh, I don't know. It just looks clean to me. Now let's again go to the launcher settings here real quick. So when you have this particular option enabled, don't show text. The home screen layout is there in a different way. For example, you just have two options here. You now have an additional option called four into seven and stuff like that because it accommodates for the space that earlier was taken by text. You do have show memory set recents and all those things are pretty similar. Show suggestions, global app icon animations, show memory status. So apart from that one change in the launcher settings, there is not much that has changed in the launcher as well. Let's go back again. Coming to passwords and security, both of them are pretty much the same because you now have face unlock in MIUI 13 as well. So nothing to worry there, but something that is really, really comparable or a UI overhaul is what you would talk about is the battery section. Now you do get battery profiles over here. We've not still received this particular feature in the Indian update. I really hope they give it to us with MIUI 13. So you do get this and then battery saver is moved to the battery section. So in the battery section over here, you have optimized charging, which is not there in this one. As you can see, you can enable or disable optimized charging. You have app battery saver, which I cannot see here. And then automated tasks over here. If you go to settings, app battery saver is here. Okay. And then automated tasks is in a separate menu or different menu altogether. So the UI has changed here and there, and there are a couple of things that are added. Moving on apps, additional settings, you have digital well-being and parental controls over here. You, instead of that, you have screen time over here because this is a China ROM. And as you can see, the UI looks completely different. Now let's talk about special features over here. Okay. Now you have game turbo here, but you have smart toolbox, which you can always enable, right? So if you're opening a game, game turbo will open. If you're opening a video app, a video, you know, toolbox will open. So these two have been combined. Then you have floating windows, second space, light mode and stuff like that. But if you actually go to additional settings over here, there are a few things that have changed here as well. Right. For example, if you go to gesture shortcuts, let's see over here, take a screenshot. Everything is almost the same over here. The good thing is back tap and fingerprint gestures are available in MIA 13 now and they are working absolutely fine. And you get sort of an animation of how to exactly go ahead and do that. Now, apart from this, one handed mode has seen quite a lot of change right now over here. You had this option. So if you enable this. There's this particular gesture which needs, there you go. So you have to be very precise with this particular gesture to go ahead and enable it. I was able to get it to work only once. So that is the change. You do have memory extension, enterprise mode and all the other things. Now, one last thing that I would like to notify here, if you go to the multitasking menu, let's see here. The animation is much more subtle in 13. It, it looks better. It works better. The whole UI over here is similar. So, you know, all in all, if you ask me, am I a 12.5.7 enhanced versus am I a 13 as far as if you're looking for something that is, you know, the widget overhaul or a major UI overhaul, you would be disappointed. But, you know, if you like eye candy stuff like some additional live wallpapers, which of course you can use on MIA 12.5.7 enhanced as well, just by installing a APK. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a video on that. Well, 
this is a performance oriented update and by the time we do a speed test i would wait till the global update arrives because it doesn't make any sense to try a china modded rom which is xiaomi.eu so all in all mii 13 compared to 12.5.7 enhanced is a very very nice update okay there is nothing bad about it things are much more refined much more smoother but if you're someone who's looking for aesthetic changes you would be disappointed because there aren't many huge changes let me know in the comment section what do you think about this side by side comparison of mi year 12.5 versus mi year 13 until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye